U.S. unveils EU TNT missiles that morph in the air. The United States Air Force, U.S., last week unveiled a new missile system that will have more maneuverability to change course in the air and strike targets more quickly. This new articulated missile system was developed by the U.S. Air Force Utility Missile Transformation through the Articulated Nose Technology, an UTNT project. The concept of missile articulation dates back to the 1950s, but was not possible until the advent of modern technology. This problem was underlined last month after the U.S. military shot down four objects from the sky in less than two weeks. One was a Chinese spy balloon that was shot down off the coast of South Carolina after crossing the U.S. When a U.S. F-16 jet shot down an unidentified object over Lake Huron on February 12, its first attempt failed. The jet uses sidewinder missiles to engage targets. The U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, ADFRL, demonstrated how the new emu tanti missile would work during a demonstration at the Air and Space Forces Association Warfare Symposium in Aurora, Colorado, last week. Quoted from Fox News, ADFRL said it had developed an electronically controlled drive system consisting of an electromagnetic motor, bearings, gears, and structure. The composite skin structure protects the drive components from the environment while maintaining the smoother outer molding lines, or ONL. ADFRL has added that weapon morphing technology will allow continuous ONL changes to match performance at each phase of flight. The Missile Control Actuation System, or CAS, will allow the missile to have greater range, maneuverability, and agility, enabling the missile to approach targets more effectively. The ADFRL will conduct three ground tests culminating in the dual articulation and maneuverability of the modified Hellfire missile from mid-2023 to late 2024. Historically, size, weight, and power of morphing technology has been prohibitive to a missile system-level benefit. Mutant is in the midst of tipping the scale to morphing weapons favor, ADFRL said in a press release about the missile. The war in Ukraine has shown the impressive power of cheap drones. Both sides are using drones to scout enemy positions, drop explosives from the sky, and as cruise missiles. Drones are smaller, more maneuverable, and harder to hit than traditional missiles and aircraft. The threat of hypersonic weapons has also upended traditional air defenses. The missiles are so fast that experts have said they're impossible to knock out of the air with traditional means. Russia has used hypersonic missiles in Ukraine and has said it's working on a hypersonic nuclear weapon that has a glide reentry vehicle which would allow it to travel fast while also maneuvering. The U.S. military is working on several defenses against these weapons, including its own hypersonics and inu T missiles. The Air Force needs every advantage it can get. Lately, it's had trouble hitting even slow-moving objects. When it went on a tear shooting balloons out of the sky in February, it missed the first shot it took at the one floating above Lake Huron. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe this video, as I appreciate all your support.